Hello, everybody. Let's another episode of Let's Play. Fire Emblem Mystery of the Emblem. Last time, we start. We beat Chapter 2, Pirates of, Ga of Garda, and this episode we're heading into Brush in the Teeth. Heading to Devil's Mountain. Again, sorry if I'm like, kind of quiet. I am dealing with a sore throat and a bunch of other stuff. Traveling from the frontier regions to Akadea, Mart's biggest challenge has appeared. The Samsuth Peak is a steep mountain that divides the peninsula into the northern and southern regions. Since some unknown time, bandits made it their base, and they started attacking nearby villages and travelers. Raids, kidnaps, settle setting fires, their crimes are known to many. In fear, the people called the, the mountain the Ghoul's Teeth, or Devil's Mountain. And they called those gathered at the Samsung the Demonic Soothsayers. Let's go and uh, view the map first. So, pretty interesting map. Pretty, uh, basically, two areas to go: either go up or we can go south and west. A couple villages, a uh, no shops, but a lot of town. So I have to talk to There's an archer here with a uh, iron bow. Excuse me. Boss is Renard. Mm, same, looks the same, but has a men's staff that we can drop. Iron. Volnary. Oh, Volnary that we can steal. Okay. Alright. Gordon, I'm sorry to say this, but I'm, I'm storing your bow. You will not be used ever again. And also you too. Alright, let's select our units. Jagan, Kane, Agrog, Abel, Sheeta, Casper, Barst, and Ogla. Store Gordon and Store Cord. But now that we have these characters up, let's give them their items. Deposit the hand axe, because that hand axe is for a replacement for Bars. Uh, list weapons. Grab a steel axe, just for the sake of why not. Marth. Mm, weapons. We really do need another steel sword. Or iron sword. Soon. But we'll probably be able to access some shops if we can. Okay, you're good. You're good. You're good. You're good. You can equip. You get another bow. And, and deposit that steel sword. Yeah, I think it's time to save and, so, and start the mission. <coughs> and two new units! Hurry, Miss Lena! Hurry, Miss Lena! If you're, if, if, you're if you're in quick, we'll both be finished! I heard the Altaian knights are, have arrived towards the south. Now's our chance to escape! Please, hang on! You can do it! I'm sorry, but I still haven't found my precious men's staff. Julian, forget about me and flee yourself! If it's just you, I can teleport you to save my warp staff. How is it that, that, is that, how is that gonna help? Don't you understand why I betrayed them in the first place? Anyway, I'll find that staff later. For now, let's just make our escape. Hurry, go! And some more units appeared. Anyways, two new units. Julian, the thief, or the gent, the tender thief. Julian, the tender thief is a thief's class. These class can open old chests and uh, and also steal from opponents. But I'm pretty sure in this game they have a higher strength or a weapon. Uh, that, but that's a problem. I'm thinking of uh. Sacred, uh, sacred stones on the GBA games, but I think thieves can open any chest. They wield swords and he starts with iron sword or his orc. He can open doors like this. Game, I don't think. Maybe not. Maybe. I don't know. But he joins chapter three, level three, seven movement, which is pretty good. He's from Macedon, uh, which is pretty, which is pretty cool. Our first uh, mission of that Macedonian or Mason. Uh, basically, they, the which are known for their wyvern knights, are actually part of our enemies. Uh, that currently. And first of all, he's the noble thief archetype, basically being, will steal and like, do stuff, but he's noble and has morals, stuff like that, but, but chaotic good. 
he is a he's forgiven, and he has pretty good growths, but his stats on their hand at base kinda suck. He has a 77%, he has a 70 strength growth, but he starts off with 4 strength, so good luck giving me HP. He is be it's better for him not to fight, but instead to actually, well, don't do, to not do that. Anyways, next up on this list is Lena, the tender, an the tender angel. Oops, uh... Lena, the tender angel, having no strength, but pretty good, pretty darn good growths. She is our first cleric. Clerics are the o are one of the only cl uh, starting classes, other than promotions, that can use stabs. Stabs are basically our main way of, he of having healing. Lena is our white mage. Being one of the most important classes in the game, she will help us throughout the entire thing. She also has, she, she starts off with a warp staff, basically able to teleport one party member to anywhere on the map. Being really empowered, but you only get one, so don't so use it wisely. So to chapter three, level three, five movement, lower movement and everything. Again from Macedon, and it's selfless. Uh to her selfless personality and other sort of stuff. And she doesn't have really good HP, strength, skill, uh HP strengths or speed with this air defense, but it really matters she shouldn't be in the in encounter in fights anyway. And also because how magic works, strength is useless anyway. Weapon level in is in very important, and luck is also really important because luck affects dodge range, so yeah, pretty important. Alright. Now with this new group of enemies, there is something new. For instance, you go to this character, Soothsire, Soothsire, some bandits. And this character, Nabarl. Remember, we remember Nabar Nabar uh, Nabarl or Navar from like one of the previous conversations. Navar is the first archetype before he got his, act, his own unique class. He is a mercenary, originally being the first Myrmidon. Navar, the Scarlet Sword, for, named that for his blood that has well, stained his sword red. He is a mercenary with his, wielding his only swords again, like like Agma, but having a Killing Edge. The Killing Edge is a extremely dangerous sword, basically having an increased crit rate compared to compared to other swords. And, uh, yeah, most heals start the archetype of the, of the loner, uh, Myrmidon. Uh, joins chapter 3, level 3, 7 movement, nationality is unknown, it's never mentioned where he comes from, only that he goes to the wind, and he has a cold personality, usually to keep to himself, and not much stuff. Recruit him by talking with Cheetah. Now for his growths. He actually has a bit better growth than Agma. Now, in my personal opinion, I recommend using both him and Agma, because they're both really good units. Honestly, them as a group make pretty short work with a lot of enemies. But yeah, if you don't have a space, then don't use then use Navarro or Agma, depending. But they're both pretty darn good. I Navarro's backstory is a little more secretive, only that he uh, he considers a cold blooded killer and that uh, in a murderer. All right, that's the end of that. All right, yep. Okay, so let's go back to the game. That's all the critical units. So you want to make, so you want to get Navar. Also, watch his, watch his movement range. He can kill you very quickly. Move you over this way, get him out of the uh, range of the archers, and start moving some cavaliers up. Also, move you up. Move you guys forward. Okay, I'll, I'll use both K and A enable. I'm, I'm considering it. Actually, one is your range archer. I don't want uh, her to die, so you attack two range. So you would attack here and here. So move. I know I remember. You want to move her here. Draw can move up because Draw can body block. Martha will move this way, and along with Jagan move this way. Or Jagan. No, Jagan. Alright, and that'll be the end of this turn. Yeah, if I sound weird, it's because I am sick. I'm dealing with a sore throat and a bunch of other stuff, so I'm not going to go watch the voice acting. Okay. I'm just going to chase after them. Um, just speed. Alright. Can I talk with the bar? Frick. Okay. Move you here. Move you forward. Move Dogo 
Scud here. But if you notice, uh, I'm left that Julie can move through uh, mountains. Uh, Thieves don't promote, so they can actually move through mountains. And we'll keep uh, you here. Okay. Die on the archer. Move a little closer. Wait, no, 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 no. Yeah, you can attack there. Almost just really almost killed, uh. Yeah, you can attack there. Okay. okay. Move forward a little bit here. Instead of, you know, in enemy range. We'll march the village. Let's get ourselves a item. Ho oh, oh, ho! You're looking very lively, young lad! It is an easy task to reach a place like this. I will reward you with this axe. What do you think? It looks impressive, no? However, this devil axe is a cursed axe that draws blood from its user. It would be a start to use it at all. We got the devil's axe. I will not be using this. For it is a cursed weapon. What the double the devil axe? It has a high it has a high strength, but an extremely, extremely high chance of just straight up killing the user. Uh due to doing Due to basically its mechanic of it has a chance to either hit the opponent or hit you, depending on your luck stat. So don't use it, it will uh, kill ya. No good parts. Just don't. Alright. What is it? If your strength is great, your weapon or magical damage will increase. Also, the effect of healing stats will be greater. Okay, so strength is actually more, more important. That's something that I only one. So I was preparing for only one more than this game, but uh, I decided that this game is a little uh, easier. Be wary of mercenaries. If you're careless, they'll send you flying in one strike. Yeah. And then that's everyone moved. Let's end the turn. All right. Probably the first one to go is Mr. Navar. Oh. See you in a bit. Yeah, Navar. Alright, that's a pretty high crit. Ooh, okay, you'll live. Even though it's a shame, you must die. Take this, Killing Edge! You must die, take this, Killing Edge! Okay, ow. Okay, Navar took high damage, but he can leave that fort. Alright, your range. Uh, you can't attack Navar, so let's talk to Navar, shall we? Swordfighter, Navar! Navar? Why would a person like you become a bodyguard for these bandits? Huh? Who are you? I have no business with women or children. Get out of here! Please stop this unnecessary fighting and lend your strength to us! If you're unwilling, you can cut me down with your sword right now. I won't point my sword, woman. Since you risked your own life to rest questioning for me, I don't have a choice. I'll lend you my strength. And yeah, it's Navarro. Uh, just to showcase his strength, uh, as he turns around and starts killing his own men. Okay. That was a- that was just trying to showcase his power, but never mind, he, uh, didn't do crap. Anyways, let's move forward. Anyway. Bow. Hopefully you actually do double. Thank you. Yeah, she doesn't. Alright. No crit, the caster doubled. And that should be a kill for Kane or Drob. The Iron Spear. Maybe I'll end up using Drog, because I do actually really like Armor Knights a lot. Honestly, as a class. But I also know that they're, they're the weaker ones. Let's dismount, the sword. Hmm. 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 Right. Nice kill there, Kane. Again. Either Kane or Abel for me turns out much better than the other, and I guess this playthrough is gonna be Kane. Go to the fort. Uh, who has the, uh, heal staff on them? No. Alright, visit this. 
If you want to avoid enemy attacks, aside from speed, you also need luck. Standing on certain spaces will also help. Alright. Keep heading south, because you actually have unique dialogue to talk to Mark with these characters. Pretty cool, huh? You always keep moving forward so you can get your, uh, prepared for that battle. Is it? Barbarics cannot fight! However, they can use sacred staffs to aid allies. Hmm. There's no way to buy them, so let's actually let's move uh, Abel in the range. There's more than them. We can chop them down. That's been removed. You do very little damage, just five. Alright, Axe Fighter move. Spear Fighter, the old hot cane, or an archer, old hot cane. Give him five damage. Also, I found out that he actually, that for me. Oh, well, left forward a lot. Uh, go back to config. I found out the, the difference between, uh, that. Between, uh, real and normal. Normal basically has it, so it goes basically like, Oh, you did this damage, then this person did this damage. But out while you're attacking, real basically does it the opposite way, where it basically does, like, it just shows at the end. Bro. Cool. Nice hit. I'm not giving you a kill for Sheeta. Or a kill for Caster as well. Get back on your horse. Or just wait. Alright. Come with both, either one. Depending if you miss or not. Alright. Aim, fire. Caster got the kill. Nice shot, Caster. Head this way. Mm -hmm. Jam your axe into this guy's throat. Hey, you don't double, so, but you do do a lot of damage. That could be a kill for him next turn. Let's use Able to body block this fort. Uh, Ogma. Uh, Ogma can get killed. Alright. Ogma, do your thing. That should be everyone, right? Yep. Okay, you're gonna attack Amel. Not too much, just the fort. Ow. Then he's gonna take it up both. Hit from an archer. Hopefully, it doesn't kill. Please don't kill. He's gonna be a little OHP, but he's gonna be fine. Alright, as long as no one else attacks him, he should be pretty fine. No hand access, thank god. Yeah, then someone's gonna attack Kane. Uh, he's gonna live. Chop, chop! Alright, that could be a kill given to, uh, Kane there. Or a frog. Alright, he's gonna heal him. Alright. Abel, you move. Jam an axe in this guy's throat. Get a level up for you, Barts. Or Bars. First level for Bars. Yes! Actual strength, speed, and defense! Oh, perfect! Literally a perfect level up for him. Other than HP. 
and then you attack your iron sword. more cane or drug. Drug probably needs it more because he has the easy lower level. Let's see what he gets. Faster because he's slow. Let's go for draw. Level 2, strength, speed, maximum HP. <gasps> yeah, pretty good. And then you can attack this person. That'll be pretty good. Thieves are pretty dangerous in hard mode, but not so much on this mode. In normal gameplay. Really? <laughs> Alright. Alright, next is night moment. You don't do any damage. But it's a dead scene. Rashida. Pretty very good. That's a run move. You'll do bear six damage, that's not too bad. Ow. You can keep running. Ba -ba. Ba -da -ba -da oh, a, there is an AI uh, in place there where we can use, uh, can buy stuff. The old buy some stabs, they have any. Okay, attack, please, and actually hit for once. Level up. Ding. That's a level for Kane. Barely not level for Kane. Okay, then. And you can get the tech to be faster. Alright. Fire. 40. Perfect. Head this way. Let's take it, why not? Head forward. Onwards. Oops. Can't talk to Marth? No, that was added in the remake. Okay. Sorry. Wrong thing. Remake only. Alright. Use Marth. Why not? You can take it. <laughs> okay, Marth. Just walk slowly and slash. <laughs> So what's your attack range? Okay, Mark's in it. You're not. Okay. Move you here to one of my enemies. Move far near you, just to say go uh, movement. Move you back here. Keep Jagan close to Mars, just for the sake of uh, just having a Jagan there to block enemy attacks. That should be able to move the turn. Enemy. Shouldn't do too much damage to Marth. Counterattack. Slash. Or quick lit. Just stabbed him right in the chest. Alright. He's dead. <laughs> Alright. Alright then. Thanks, game, I guess. For killing that enemy pretty quickly. Hopefully, Marth gains HP for the love of God. The suit's not attacking. Misses entirely because I'm on the, on the mountain. All forced. Alright, that's twice. Spirit pack damage. Alright. Alright, who needs the XP? Mar, kind of look up the XP and level up. Could be able to kill the Agma. Could give the kill try to kill the kill a Julian. Just a showcase of why it's a bad idea. To fight with Julian. I mean, it got him XP. Wait, can you steal in this game? Question. Item, trade. Nah, you can't. Alright. 
Let's give it a kill to Mark. Why not? More, more again. Better be closer. Why not? There's a wall for Mark. Level 4, Strength, Skill, Luck, Weapon Level, HP. Holy freaking crap! Marth! My dude! <laughs> you got like almost every stat but skill! Or, or with luck, I forget. Dude got everything, except Rez. If you notice, uh, no one in this game has Rez, except for, uh, Jagan. Yeah, prepare for everyone to have no Rez for the rest of this game. Or also you, let up. That doesn't count. Heck, some characters will lose their Rez, re their Rez stat. Well, yeah, you, uh, Miss Sheeta. I was kidding. She will lose her movement, so move you there. Move you here. Move you here. Move Navar closer. Maybe I'll get to kill Navar. I'm the boss. Like, why are there my own men attacking me? Anyways, uh. Yeah. Attacking the same person who's injured, probably. And that's a kill. Ogma being Ogma, Ogma gets the kill. <laughs> I, was, I remember my brother used to cross some Ogma. Ow. Slash face, slash, slash. Okay, it's all for Ogma. Oh, four skill, luck, weapon level. Okay, need, I need defense, guys. I need defense and HP. I need, I need strength. I can't... I, I need to keep doing stuff, guys. You guys aren't getting tankier. You're just staying the exact same strength. Uh, we need to level up, guys. And gain stats. Uh, give the kill to you. Take some damage away from, uh... Good old uh, Marth. Oh. Miss. Oh, never mind. Alright, I guess I'll get to kill someone else. Uh, not you, not you. <coughs> Sorry. Sick. Anyways, stab. Or chop, sure, is that? Chop. Speed up because it's very slow. Let's see what's in the shop. If there's any heal stacks, I'm, get, I'm buying some. So armory, what do you want to do? Iron spear, hand axe. Suck it, same as last chapter. Nope, nothing real that good. Zoom down here. Keep moving through the forest, guys. Remount and wait. Alright. Move closer. He's on the turn. It's not gonna move, so I might as well just keep waiting until we get there. There's no real turn limit, there's no guiding chapter, so you don't have to worry about uh, being too slow. Alright, there we are. Let's give the kill to Navar if we can. Showcase the power of a, a strong. Actually, how close is Caster leveling up? Pretty close. Let's try to get him a couple hits on, on the boss. Alright, attack. Unless uh, he gets crit and kills Miss Link. Renard! So you guys want to die! I'll grant your wish! I'll grant your wish! Okay, well, oops. He has a hand axe, so that will miss. Oh, that could have been bad. He does 10 damage to caster. Oh god. I wait again. Ow. And he has 70 HP, though. 
Not until you live again, you'll live another hit, so... And that's a, that's a level for caster. Five, strength, speed, weapon level, resistance. RESISTANCE! As I showed, he has three resistance! Uh, <laughs> oh my god! Uh, thanks, game! Okay, that's a pretty good level, though, I'm just gonna say that, though. Uh, you need basically every stack you needed. Uh, but yeah, thanks. Alright, let's give the kill to someone who needs it. Dude, dude. I mean, I could get the I hit Machida and get the kill with him, but I think Navar needs it a little more. Actually, should probably convoy. Oh, wait, I don't have any other skills. An iron sword to give him. A steel sword, but that's it. Alright, let's showcase the killing edge. Hey, he's dead. Bernard had a men's staff, so Nabarro took the men's staff. <clears throat> I'll remember you. That wasn't too bad. For length. And also for, uh... Anyways. Also, I'm just gonna end turn so I can give the, uh... The men's staff back to, uh, Lena. Trade... Oh, wait. Item. The item. Trade. Give the men's staff to you. And wait. I don't want to waste to use the men's staff with a, with a random heal, but I'll showcase what it does. Basically, plus 28 HP to an ally. It's Paragma. The men's staff to full heal. And Lenny gets 28 HP. But I'm not going to do that, because we're at the end of the stage. So, I'm gonna... so let's go and end the stage with a good old seize. Look, your highness, we found one th ten thousand gold inside the castle, which the bandits have left behind. With these, we can make further preparations. Excellent! Tomorrow, one will be Aurelius. Oh, wait, no. No, 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 no. We actually do need stuff. We actually do have stuff we need to buy. From the shop. Iron swords. We have no iron swords. Alright, now we can go. Alright, save game. And next time on Let's Play Final Fantasy VI. Oh, wait, what? Okay, wait, before we actually start, is there any cutscene? Oh, never mind, this is the next chapter. There's no, uh, intro thing. Anyways, next chapter, we are going to head into the main, the next parts of the game. See you guys, well, into chapter four of this game. See you guys then, or the soldiers of Orleans. See you guys. Bye-bye.